Welcome to our webinar today, New Technology Advances Best Practice in the Enterprise Software Center of Excellence. My name is Mike Zuckerman, NOAA's Chief Marketing Officer, and I'm supported today by Ilya Epstein, our Senior Director for Global Sales Engineering. Thank you for attending. Today we're going to overview the opportunity that we see to improve operations in the Center of Excellence by leveraging new technologies. We'll review the challenge and we'll share a little bit about new technology solutions, the benefits and the rewards, and most important is we'll show you hands-on how this technology works. NOAA, of course, is licensed to over 20 percent of the Fortune 50 and hundreds of global customers. We support mission-critical ERP and CRM applications for user experience management and monitoring, and this technology makes high impact for our customers across large enterprise apps, delivers better performance, delivers return on investment, and increased customer satisfaction. We'll talk about our customers perhaps another time, but I think you can see that just about 20% of the Fortune 100 are our customers and licensees today, so this technology is available in the market and widely distributed already. So let's talk about the center of excellence. What is the center of excellence? And then let's understand how we can positively impact it with new tools like user experience management. Well, a center of excellence at its fundamental level is a team that promotes the collaboration and best practice around a specific process to improve and optimize business results. It costs money to set up a center of excellence, yet the return on investment is considered substantial and many large enterprises are investing in such organizations. On the IT side, we see many such as SAP, Oracle, Microsoft. SAP has a certification program that many of you are aware of. And then major consultancies, people like Accenture, because they have such a huge investment in building out software systems for ERP and CRM have also built and established centers of excellence for themselves and their customers. The key drivers for all of this is consistency and quality of service, governance, how are we applying our key resources, leveraging shared experience and making sure that the quality of all the things we do to build our team is as high as it can be for training, certifying people to know that they've reached a level of achievement. Measurement, this is a key area where this new technology will show high impact show the delivery of value through measurement. If you cannot measure it, you cannot improve it. Guidance, uh, as you assemble your experts and they start to see the best ways to optimize performance, they will develop best practice. They will, they will drive self-help repositories and standards that will raise the performance of the organization. And finally, support. At the tactical level on a given day, often the center of excellence is one of your highest levels of support in the organization, far beyond the IT service desk, where the, the best performers you have and the most knowledgeable team members vet different difficulties in conjunction with IT to make sure that you know, it is a software problem versus perhaps user execution uh, versus perhaps uh, business process execution. All of this investment is considerable, but once again, the return on investment for your team is substantial. The mission, as you start to look at software, very specifically, there are many, many centers of excellence in large organizations. It could be 10, 20, 30 of them across the enterprise. But for enterprise software, you really start to focus in on the user side of performance. How are they performing? Are they adopting the applications? Are they executing with best practice? When they need to be supported and we have our COE team on it, it's, you think of it as your highest level of support, level three or equivalent. Change management is a big event for enterprise software and user acceptance testing and the COE lurks either hands-on or in the background through that process. And finally, they're always thinking about process analysis and optimization, working with IT and other organizations to understand the best way to execute. If you can take half a percent off a of time for a major process like order to cash, that will impact the bottom line of your business and increase you know, the profits that you can deliver to your shareholders. So this is important stuff. The challenge for the center of excellence boils down to a gap today which we call the visibility gap. And the visibility gap is the difference between what the center of excellence team has in terms of resources to understand where they are versus the actual state of that execution. And the gap is quite large. We know from our data that over 90% of the errors in an enterprise are user errors. And this is the greatest area of potential impact for a COE, yet they have very limited visibility to it. 
Now, there are many ways to group performance, even inside NOAA. We have sometimes differing views about how do you categorize these things. But fundamentally, at a basic level, you have five very key components of, of ways that you could clarify performance. The first would be system error and the response time the system infrastructure gives you, you know, at a desktop. Uh, most enterprises don't have accurate data for response time at the desktop. User error, the errors that user makes, and then the execution time for a given user in a given process, task, screen, module, whatever it is. This again is not usually in the hands of the center of excellence to support their decision process. And most complicated is are the users following a compliant execution path given we've got complex browser-based software for which you could do the same thing often five different ways. And most of the time, from most of the organizations we work with, one, maybe two of those ways is compliant and optimized to produce the right result and the other three are not. And so all of these things about performance are important and yet the COE has such limited visibility to this data. Most of this data is not easily visible, if at all, to the center of excellence. To put it a different way, all of the infrastructure tools in IT deliver information about that infrastructure. And you know, IT will concern themselves with the performance of the database server. For the center of excellence, they'll know perhaps end-to-end -end and average response time, but they won't know maybe that they have a, a performance issue in the Chicago office or with certain classes of users. And then in terms of user performance, which is the most important component for where a COE can really impact things, they have very limited anecdotal data, maybe handcrafted reports that come out of the IT service organization for the things they touch or the things that escalate. But we know today that this is about one-eighth of what actually happens out there. For the 90% of user error, the reality is that the center of excellence and IT service only know about 10 to 15 percent of it. And so to the CIO or to the line of business exec, this percentage is, mis is misrepresented. It looks like it, they understand where 40 to 50 percent of the problems are coming from, but in fact they don't. So how can we resolve this with a new technology set and how can this start to impact best practice and operations? Well, user experience management or monitoring, as NOAA delivers it with a desktop agent, enables you to see business process and user activity at each desktop, uniquely measured at each desktop. And Ilya will go into this. But we have very accurate data for the performance of the system, the system errors, the user errors, the performance time for any user or class of users. You, usually you'd group by LDAP parameters. To, to complete a certain task and workflow that enables you to drill into a specific user to say, you know, what was the process you went through and, and was it compliant or was it not? So everything that the center of excellence would need that would fall into the gap we described is now visible and accessible and can drive action. Um, there are many components in the dashboard which Ilya will overview, but a lot of data. For instance, you could decide, I want to know since this new release came out, in Europe, in our EMEA operations across our 32,000 employees, for anyone with the title Vice President Director, the top, the top five user errors they are experiencing today using this new release. And that's the kind of data that's at your fingertips. And it's, it's accurate, and it's complete, and it's comprehensive. So that's a big change for the center of excellence. There are lots of ways that this technology will evolve how a COE can execute better. Um, visibility we've talked about, right? And it enables you to do many things. Um, you can work with the IT team to, to diagnose root cause faster. Uh, you can improve the change management process and, and reduce the hypercare periods and the severity of the results that people see during that window. Many, many ways to show how things are changing through this visibility. Um, your best practices now can be measured and can be assessed real time in terms of how they're performing for your users. You have much more data and so now you can target things that will impact your user community more significantly. And finally, while we know 99% of our users want this for the increase in customer satisfaction and the overall performance benefit to the organization is that when you know you need this technology, you still have to justify it and drive and create a budget and build a consensus. And the operational benefits across a variety of areas like IT support and change management uh, produce a very substantial return on investment. So you can build out this ROI 
to help you make the decision you know you need to make and sell it internally. It is the case that many ROI models for our customers show millions of dollars in savings. It is not atypical. Uh, we have one customer, British Telecom, that has documented over a million and a half pounds per year in ongoing operational benefits uh, from this technology. So these are things for the COE to know about to help bring the technology in-house. What it really looks like when it's implemented is it changes that view you saw before. So now the center of excellence has all of the infrastructure performance they had. But now you can also see how is your training working? Exactly how many user errors are your users making before and after that training? Is it effective? Are the sub teams you have in the COE um, are they are they effective? How 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 are they making change, and what sort of changes is, is producing positive benefits? Uh, are you improving functional support? Is the time at the service desk now dropping because you can diagnose faster? Are you reducing the hypercare windows and change management? And and most powerful, how are your users adopting the application? All of these new areas of visibility are driven by the data inside our system, and really changes the leverage for the center of excellence. Uh, successful customers, I'll highlight one, and then we'll move to the demonstration. Severstal is a global leader in steel production and mining with many billions in revenue and many, many thousands of SAP users. And they have what SAP has called a certified center of excellence, which is the highest level of achievement and excellence for any SAP customer in this area. And their expansion was so great that they wanted to manage costs more effectively, find a way to keep the tickets and the ticket resolution time down, and not have to drive increases in the staff at a rate that they did early on. And this technology enables them to support many more users to expand the functional capacity of the COE, yet keeps costs very low because the technology enables that team to have far more leverage. They've seen a decrease in the number of COE tickets per user population and a decrease in the time to resolve. They've started to look at proactive training and proactive service. And across the boards are seeing large benefits. If you have more than 1,000 users on enterprise software such as SAP, Siebel, PeopleSoft, or Salesforce, Sales Cloud, you're going to see strong return on investment and similar benefits for your team. In terms of economic benefit, we pull together value engineering studies, sometimes with our channel partners like SAP and sometimes ourselves for our direct customers. But these are the sorts of returns you can see as you start to understand how this can create positive impact. And these are the kinds of benefits. If you just look at the center of excellence on an annual basis, it's, it's quite significant. And it's very easy to bridge that to your training and IT service organizations or shared business services. So these are the sorts of benefits that we should be able to talk about with you, you know, to put this kind of system in place. Next steps, I think you'll see the demo, but introduce us to your COE team. Let us look at your mission critical major apps for ERP and CRM. We'll do an assessment. If it's something that you find benefit, uh, we'll work with you to build out a value prop so that you can, you know, create a compelling event and bring the technology in house. Most important is that you can move to production in six to eight weeks. This technology is a desktop agent, but it does not touch the back end systems. It does not integrate at the back end. It does not have to wait for a big annual release cycle. You can put it in place rapidly, load the agent to the desktop, and uh, get to value realization on a rapid basis. Acknowledging trademarks for our important channel partners and vendor partners, such as SAP and Oracle. And now I'm going to uh, turn the presentation over to. Uh, uh, Ilya Epstein, so he can overview the technology. The Center of Excellence now has direct visibility into the end user, into the business end user population. Uh, what's unique, as Mike talked about, the NOAA technology is that we're not monitoring through some type of synthetic robot. These are real end users, real business processes as being executed by all uh, enterprise users. Uh, for each user uh, executing within any of the core enterprise applications, like you can see here, various SAP applications and others, uh, we have key KPIs. Now, some of these KPIs are about the active time of the user. Uh, it's the true active time. It's not just the amount of time users are logged in. Uh, the center of excellence can actually measure users' um, time within each transaction, each screen. They also 
also have incredible capacity to monitor real end user response time. Uh, the response time that NOAA provides, as Mike talked about, is a true response time. It's an end-to-end -end response time. So for the first time, the Center of Excellence has a very objective uh, quantitative metric that understands from the moment the user clicks on any link, on any button within the target application, they could see end-to-end -end what that response is. And then, m most importantly, I would say, is the system and user errors. Um, the user errors that we capture is truly unique. And again, it's only possible with a desktop agent. We can actually understand every error, every work-stopping issue that the end user receives within any business process. And because we're monitoring through the agent, we could go very deep. So not only do we tell you how many errors you encountered for every given user, but we could tell you what transactions, what specific, you know, whether it's SAP, T codes, or Z codes, whether it's a uh, CRM-based application, we could tell you what specific screens this occurred in. So you could be, not only do you have the ability to have this proactive metric, but if you actually want to take proactive actions, proactive remediation, you could do that because you have all this detail at your fingertips. So for example, if you're an analyst within a center of excellence and you see that a user is having a lot of errors in a specific transaction, and you could actually pinpoint it to a specific screen, you don't need for that user to report a support ticket. You don't need to interrogate them and go back and forth you can actually drill down, understand exactly what kind of errors the user is getting, get all that detailed information, open up a support ticket, drill down further to actually see step by step what the user was doing. So proactive remediation is not just good because the center of excellence can now provide better quality of support, but through proactive remediation, the, the COE can actually be more efficient because if you could identify issues more proactively and you could resolve issues that are impacting a lot of users, you can actually reduce the overall load, the overall support cost uh, within the center of excellence and your center of excellence can reallocate those resources to other functions within a COE which could be related to better process enhancement, project work, and so forth. Now, this workflow that you're seeing here which shows step-by-step step all of the actions that the user took to the user error is 100% unique to know it. There's no other solution that can actually tell you when they, you know, before the user even contacts the support team within the COE, what the user did to get to that error. Uh, now, within Center of Excellence, there's also a lot of business expertise. So a COE analyst could look at the workflow and very quickly also identify if the user is actually making a mistake in the process execution. That's the great value of the NOAA solution. It, it's not just about capturing the error. It's not just about capturing a slow response time. But we have this workflow, this complete context, that can actually tell you if the user is executing that business process in the way it was designed. And if the user is getting the error message because he didn't execute the process properly, the center of excellence now has that objective data to actually make that uh, determination. Another area that I want to talk about in the Center of Excellence is um, more strategic, more proactive remediation, and that comes through better analysis of the, of the data, whether it's week over week, month over month, um, you know, quarter over quarter, and that is to look at all of the errors that are happening and that are contributing to the you know, the support within the COE or are causing work stopping issues for the business areas uh, that the COE is responsible for. And very quickly identify those areas of the application or the user population that can benefit from some remediation. So we have customers like McKesson, for example, where they're using the, these types of analytics and they're doing this on a weekly basis, on a monthly basis, to understand what are the top transactions that are having the highest number of errors and are contributing to the highest number of incidents within the COE functional support area. And because the COE has both the business typically and the technical uh, teams uh, you know, within the organization, they can actually use NOAA to have that uh, you know, common ground dialogue that could objectively determine if this is a technical issue that should be resolved by IT or if this is a business issue. 
Um, we actually break down the error messages really, uh, really uh, carefully by the types of categories, whether it's you know authorization issues, whether it's a, a system error, whether it's a specific you know master data problem. So you have all these error categories. You could understand how they are impacted by the different segments of your user population. Uh, this is the concept of user attributes. So for any given error, I could actually break down and see how is it uh, impacting specific sites, specific departments, locations. And then as a, a COE analyst, I could actually then take remediation steps to make sure that these recurring problems do not reappear. Um, and what we found is, for example, with Feverstall, like Mike mentioned, that their goal was to you know, provide support for almost a you know, two-fold increase in the SAP users with the same amount of personnel in their COE. And the only way they could do that is by using analytical tools from NOAA to do some of that proactive analysis. Um, and through uh, doing that proactive analysis and reducing the amount of issues that are happening within uh, the application and the user community, uh, they're able to keep the overall support burden on the organization uh, uh, relatively the same, although the user population is continuously growing. Um, the last area that I want to talk about um, is the business process aspect. So, you know, a center of excellence would typically be very plugged in into the understanding the end-to-end -end business processes within the organization, whether it's order the cash, whether it's financial close, whether it's sales orders. Uh, the idea is not only to look at the NOAA metrics on you know, simply individual application components, but to take a look at one of these business processes that are critical to your business and really understand where you have variations. Now, when I say variations, the great thing about the NOAA solution is because we're doing continuous monitoring on the desktop, you have these incredible baselines and benchmarks. So the center of excellence can actually uh, configure alerts, it can configure alarms when key KPIs, whether it's the adoption of a specific application, whether it's response time, whether it's system or user errors, where those uh, key, key, you know, key KPIs have degraded over a period of time. Now, it could be over you know, a change event, maybe you did an upgrade or a rollout, whether you've done uh, some introduction of a new process, it doesn't matter. You could always do that analysis uh, to compare two periods and automatically see the variations. So, for example, if we want to take a look at some of these, let's say financial accounting, we could clearly see that the number of users in a two-week period has dropped. We could also see a negative response time. We could also see that the number of user errors have gone up. And then as a COE analyst, if I want to go ahead and drill down and understand you know, which specific component of that business process um, is being impacted, and how can I take remediation, focused and targeted remediation, that will actually improve the overall financial accounting uh, execution, I could do that because I have the analytics, I have the data that allows me to make those decisions. So if I want to look at the user errors, very clearly I could see based on the, in this heat map, based on the intensity of the color, that the highest number of user errors are happening in this one transaction, you know, out of 10 within the financial accounting. Not only that, but within the financial accounting, I could actually see a specific screen. I could also see specific users that are having the problem. So the center of excellence can actually then go back to business, take some remediation steps, and actually improve the overall performance of this financial accounting process. So these are just some of the areas that know is used within COEs. Um, depending on the size of a center of excellence, it could include other functions like application development and support. It could also include training. And we have use cases for, for those components for those aspects as well. Um, definitely, as Mike talked about, reach out to us, get us in touch with your COE team so we can actually address and show how no can be used in all of the COE functions to make it even more proactive and, uh, and provide better, uh, uh, better results to the business. Um, that's it for now, Mike. I'm passing it back to you. Thank you, Ilya. That was outstanding. I hope you enjoyed a view to some new technology that can change the best practice for your center of excellence. 
NOAA EPM and our user experience management set can provide unprecedented visibility and this visibility uh, enables your COE to better support your customers, drive value, and optimize business process. If you have questions, please email us at sales at NOAA.com or give us a call. You'll find all the information on our website. Thank you and have a great day everybody for attending.